So this is the Merrimack River chute. Over there you can kind of see rocks. This is called a dam. It's not really quite a dam. However, there is a pretty powerful current right here. I'm currently going five knots and I'm only paddling with one hand just enough to keep me going straight. At low tide, this seriously is a chute and you can tell exactly. It's very narrow and very swift. Yeah, there you go. We're doing almost six miles an hour right now. Steaming right through here. Just to give you an idea of the speed we're moving. See these waves up here? That means there's some more good sized rocks here in the river. I've actually had to lift over these to go up at low tide. This is still a running out tide right now. Haverhill the tide doesn't turn We're too far up river for that. However, the current kind of backs up and it's certain and the far enough you get up the river it actually continues to run downstream but the water level itself gets higher. I think this is about the maximum you'd ever see for that. Right here this is kind of the break in the river. But And we're still doing see the GPS there we're still doing four point we're slowing down some now but we were doing almost six but it's one of my favorite stretches just to play around on with the rocks not really white water but definitely I mean I'm I'll hold it still now it's hard to tell but these rocks over here it'll give you an idea this turns into a real rock garden with a chute running right down the edge of it at low tide. It's pretty fun to play in, but I've never, I, had, I can't paddle up over it. Five, five miles an hour is faster than I can paddle upstream. There you go. There we are, we're just zipping along shore here. You see that current just racing there. And that's still it's two miles an hour right here.